What is up, YouTube? My goodness, I don't even know what's going on here. Three days in a row of actually putting content back on the channel. Well, uh, I did promise you yesterday that I was going to put up a video kind of walking through uh, this farmhouse remodel that we've been doing. And so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start this as a series because there is so much work to do on this house. And there's stuff outside, there's stuff inside, there's stuff that's already been done, there's stuff that still needs to get done. And so I'm gonna step you through a little bit of it. What I'm gonna start with is the two areas of the house that are probably the most finished. Um, one of those being our uh, den area, den living room. I don't know what you call it where you live. Uh, I, I kind of refer to this as the den slash living room. Um, and like I said yesterday as well, I am gonna throw in extra pictures and things of that sort. So now, before I say anything, keep in mind, this house is actively in a, re in a remodel. This is not necessarily like how we live. This is how we are living currently because we're remodeling and we are remodeling the house that we live in. This is not remodeling a house that we don't live in. So all of that said, I'm gonna flip the camera around here and I'll start showing you. The first room I'm gonna show you is the living room. All right, this is the living room currently and I will show you the what this looked like when we first moved in, looking from actually about this point of view right here will be the picture that I'm gonna show you. It has changed a lot. That picture is the old picture that was on Zillow. What we have done here from literally top to bottom, we've got, that's all new uh, oak hardwood floors. We did all that ourselves. Should have filmed it, would have been great content, but I didn't. That is a new door, new doorknob. This over here, new door. Uh, we painted this fireplace, those grills. This is kind of cool, honestly. I found this beam in the pasture behind our house, and I just roughed it up just a little bit with some sandpaper, put a little bit of stain on it, and we hung it just like that. So. Anyway, that's kind of cool. I thought that was a neat little, uh, little added touch. I'm real big on trying to like reuse anything that I can reuse, recycle as far as building material. Painted all these cabinets. These walls had paneling. I will show you pictures. They had paneling, like a chair rail style paneling all the way around the room. We have removed all of that and put in the one buys, I actually cut down two by fours to make all those slats. And then we put, there's texture on the drywall. This is some stuff you can get at the store called Yucca Board. Put that around there, new trim around the doors. Michelle herself actually went through these beams and they were real rough cut cedar beams, which is great. We like the rough look, but you couldn't dust them at all. So she sanded these down and actually stained them a little darker so that they would go better with the floor. So. Six inch tall trim down there, fireplace tools, new grills. It is such a mess outside with the snow and everything. So anyway, this room, this room is the most completed room in the house. Um, the switches, if you saw the video yesterday, we're changing all the switches to these paddle style switches. Um, Michelle really likes those and all the outlets. If you saw, we're going to those square style outlets. So that's basically the only thing left is changing out those switches. We actually added this set of switches here and added these can lights. This room had zero lighting when we, when we moved in. So we, those are LED little spring clip. I, I've still got to go back and paint the ceiling one more time. We've already painted this ceiling once. It was brown when we moved in here. But I've got to paint it again. And then this room right here is 100% complete. And let me tell you, we're excited about that because it has just been such a long, arduous process with this house. I will show you pictures of what this floor looked like when we remodeled this floor.
we actually had to tear these floors completely out to the dirt. There was termite damage. There was all kinds of stuff. We tore this thing out to the dirt. We replaced a whole bunch of the floor joists. We had to do all kinds of stuff. This whole area is an add-on to the house. So it was just built a little bit differently and, and all that. I wish I would have filmed all of it. It would have been great content for somebody who was getting into this and didn't really know what to do, but I didn't. This room that we're looking at here is the kitchen. It is the almost most completed room of the house. Um, and I'm gonna show you everything. Right now, what you're seeing on the floor, just bear with me on that, okay? This is, we've already torn up the old floor. We've already torn up the old floor, put down tile. Something happened underneath here. I'm gonna have to tear it out again. But this room, just like the room that I was just showing you in there in the living room, we had to tear this room down to the dirt. There are 27, I believe, floor joists across. This is a long shotgun style kitchen. 27 floor joists across here. We had to sister or replace like 20 of those. So it was really bad termite damage. This whole floor sunk. I've got a section of it that I'm gonna have to tear back up because something sunk on it and it's brand new floor joists. So I don't know if one of my hangers came loose. I really don't know what happened, but I am gonna video that whenever I tear this up, I will, I will show you what's going on there. So what we've got going here, all new cabinets. We literally gutted this kitchen. You can tell by that on the ceiling. Have not gone to, I have not finished the ceilings but there used to be an island right here. I'll show you pictures of all this. I'm just gonna throw them in the video here. That is a brand new sink that we installed. Uh, that's the only thing I would recommend that you actually buy from Ikea is that sink. It's a big old farmhouse sink. It was like 350 bucks on Ikea. New dishwasher, still got a trim around the side of that. Still got to put the kick trim up. Uh, new faucet, new stove. There's a video on my channel about this range hood. You should go check that out. New refrigerator and freezer, new cabinets, new cabinets, shiplap style on the end of the cabinets. All of this is all new. Backsplash, backsplash, all of that is new. This window's getting replaced, has not yet. We're gonna finish this backsplash going up in here. I'm telling you when there's a lot of stuff, when I say there's a lot of stuff to do on this house, there is a lot of stuff to do on this house. Okay, so another thing we did is on the ends, I showed you how we kind of did shiplap across the ends. Um, this is also Ikea. I know I said that the only thing that was good for Ikea was that sink, but my wife likes Ikea and this stuff, it's so cheap and easy and, and inexpensive is a better word. Let me say it that way. But anyway, cutting boards, little hanging rack, towel. Oh yeah. I guess Ikea is not as bad as I made it sound like. They've got some good stuff. It's just not my favorite because if it's got any moving parts, it falls apart. But we've had some good luck with some of it. So anyway, on to the next one. Now let me see if I can show you what I've already done. This is an ad that I did under the sink lighting. Pew! I don't like switches everywhere, so I hide as much of it as I can. Check this out. That's actually the light fixture over the sink. Um, but I hid the switch up underneath here. So when you come up to the sink, bam, there's your switch. Completely hidden, no switches on the wall. I only left one outlet right there. That's the only outlet on the wall in this kitchen anymore. All the rest of the outlets are on these strips that I bought on Amazon. And I hardwired these in to the actual house power. So that is hardwired in. You can see coming off of it going to, oh, this is all backwards. There's a box there. This is hard. This power strip here is hardwired into that box. And then you see this switch deal. See the lights up there? We've got over cabinet lighting, under cabinet lighting. So, cabinet with no lights and it's bright outside, snow, sun, all that. Oh, where'd the switch go? There it is. Boom, under cabinet lighting. Hey, guess what? There's a video on my channel on how to do the uh, uh, switches and power and under cabinet lighting and all that. You should go check that out. Same thing over here on this side. Power strip, switches, over cabinet, under cabinet, off, bam. Again, there is a video that kind of details how I did all that. So you should go check that out. You really should, it's great. 
Kitchen lights. This is an area where we still have some work to do. We put these in, they're off of Ikea too. My wife found them when she was at Ikea in Texas. Um, they're not bad lights. They're not my favorite though, honestly. We've got two of them. They're very directional lights, so it's just straight down. So when you turn the light on in the kitchen, it doesn't do a whole lot. But my plan is to come back up here in the ceiling and do some of those LED lights like we did in the living room and give us like task space lighting. Cause the lighting that I did under the cabinets is really an accent lighting. It is not a task lighting. It's not very good at all. Oh, forgot to show you this. When I built this range hood, which you need to go check that video out. I also, again, you know me, I'm trying to hide everything. Boom, gotta have task lighting for the stove top. So I put a light switch up in there. There is a light fixture. It's nothing fancy. There's not even a daggum fan in there to suck out when your mama burns the cookies. Uh, I haven't installed that yet, but I will. Also in the kitchen, this is the <whistles> shiplap wall. Uh, it's not shiplap. Again, I like to reuse stuff. There's a video on my channel of how we did this. That's actually reused fence pickets from the privacy fence that was here when we bought this house. Faux shiplap, how about that? One last thing to do is we've torn out a lot of walls and redone a whole bunch of stuff and I have got to fix that. I will make a video when I do. I've got to put a two by four in there, wrap it, put the corner bead on it, you know, drywall, all that stuff. There is some electric that we put in there. Ooh, right there. There's electric that we put in there. And for those of you who were very astute and paying attention, you will notice in the pictures that this was very different looking. We have now put in a solid beam across here. I have not finished this side. We're on the kitchen side right now. Here's the living room side. It is finished. It's got the same stuff going on there. So. Um, did I video that going in? No. Should I have? Of course I should have, but I didn't. So we tore all of this out. This was actually sagging. We had to jack the ceiling back up. Um, so we've got some beam pockets with two by four stacked over here. That beam actually runs about eight inches, maybe 10 inches. I don't remember exactly how many two by fours we stacked, but into that wall. And then it does the same thing over here on this wall, runs down into that wall. And then that carries the load of that, which used to be the exterior wall of the house. And that is where I'm gonna end this little farmhouse update for today. If you wanna see any kind of information about like what's going on at the farmhouse check out my instagram i do some daily stories and stuff on instagram uh, i'm at joshua fugate on instagram as well and i will be posting anything that gets changed in this house i will post an update on it i know there's a lot of people that are really you know thank you chip and joanna Gaines, for all the interest in farmhouses probably why my wife wanted to buy this uh, so there's a lot of people that are interested in kind of knowing that stuff. So I'm going to document as much of it as I can. If you've got any questions about anything we've done on this so far, just put it in the comments. I will answer all of the questions if I can. I've done all this work myself with my wife and the help of a couple of friends. So there's nothing been done to this house with the exception of the roof because we got that done by insurance because of hail damage. But I'll walk you out to the outside later and show you that. I'm not even going to talk about that today. I'm not talking about that on this video. If you want to check us out on Instagram, I already told you about that. Otherwise, tune in tomorrow. We'll have another video for you.